Hey, this is interesting. In 1916, Patrick Harmon claimed he won $20,000 by walking backwards 3,900 miles from San Francisco to New York in 10 months. While there is some evidence that he did walk backwards through the Midwest, his fast journey up and over the Sierra Mountains, which was conveniently close to the railroad line, may have been a figment of his imagination. While boosting imagination is not one of the brain benefits the researchers have found from backwards or retro walking, they have found that it activates different regions of the brain compared to forward walking and produces its own unique set of benefits. For example, backwards walking relies more on the cerebellum, which is critical for motor control and coordination, and the prefrontal cortex, a region of the brain involved in cognitive skills like problem solving and decision making. Since backwards walking requires more focus and coordination, it has the potential to strengthen motor skills, balance, coordination, and spatial awareness. In fact, studies have found these changes and improvements can help improve focus, concentration, and memory recall just about anyone. But more specifically, the research shows that walking backwards improves the walking ability in post-stroke patients and attention and focus in people with ADHD. In other words, challenging your brain to apply a movement pattern in a new and natural manner requires more attention to what your body is actually doing by being more present, which can short-circuit hyperactive and anxious thoughts, helping you to calm down. Of course, safety is a concern, so you may want to start on a treadmill with handrails and start small and build up as you become more comfortable with retro walking. The next option obvious area of research is to establish whether a person can moonwalk across the United States. It'd be a thriller if they could. As always, matters come from peer-reviewed research.